Welcome back to the YouTube channel. I'm alone today, again, in the office. We are still in the middle of the pandemic and everybody else is still staying at home, staying safe and staying well. However, I am not going to be alone for long because today we're going to do a fun bookends video about our query pet peeves. Trying not to be too negative here, but let's face it, we all have pet peeves. I've got pet peeves, you've got pet peeves, so let's talk about them. When it comes to queries, I personally, me, Jessica Faust, because I don't think I introduced myself, I'm not too particular. You know, I, if you use my name wrong, sure it's a pet peeve, but at the end of the day, that's not really a big deal to me. I can get over it. My pet peeves are, really come down to the authors who don't want to do the work. And for me, that's all about the blurb. The one thing I think is the most important part of your query letter is your blurb. It's the back cover of your copy of your book. It's what I want to read, and it's what's going to convince me to read more of your book, the blurb. You might be surprised at how many quote unquote query letters, because I guess if you're not really writing a blurb, can you really call it a query? I get that are no more than one or two sentences that say something, sometimes not even a Dear Jessica, to be honest, that say something along the lines of, I've written a great book, fiction that explores the nuances of a neighborhood. Would you like to read it? It says nothing to me. I need to know your plot. I need to know who your characters are. I need you to entice me to read more. So my query pet peeve are those people who don't go to the effort of writing a blurb often because they don't think they need to. Let's see what everybody else has to say. Hello everyone, James here. Uh, we're talking query pet peeves today and I don't have many of them if you could believe it. Um, I think my biggest pet peeve is just not getting the name right. My name is at the top of my form, it's in my bio on the About Us page. Anything that would have led you to me has my name on it. Um, so I would hope that you just get my name right. If you send the wrong genre, I'm just going to probably send you on your way. Um, none of that bothers me too much, although, you know, follow the submission guidelines. Um, just get my name right. Hi, I'm Naomi Davis with Bookends. My biggest query pet peeve is when the book that's presented is not actually the genre that's specified in the query form. I think a lot of people have a misconception about this where they feel like, okay, my book is more romance oriented than science fiction, so I'm going to check romance as its category. But the truth is that those categories come down more to the audience that we're selling the book to. and a romance publisher who doesn't publish any science fiction is not going to be able to consider your science fiction romance story um, because I have to present it to them as what their audience is expecting. So if your story is science fiction, even if it's a very romantic science fiction, it's still science fiction. The same is true for things like paranormal romance. Paranormal romance ultimately falls under fantasy more than romance because those fantasy elements do exclude it from a contemporary romance audience most of the time. There are exceptions, of course, to every rule, but that it, most authors don't do this on purpose. Most authors truly are just trying to choose the best category and it can be really hard to narrow down your whole book into three words. Um, however, sometimes there are other queries that come through that very, you know, very obviously try to skirt the rules a little bit where I've said I'm not open to YA fantasy. It says on my query form that I'm not open to YA fantasy. So they just put it as YA romance or YA, or I'm sorry, adult fantasy or something like that to try and sneak it through. It's pretty obvious when you do that, so it's not going to fool anybody. That's my query pet peeve. Uh, let's talk query peeves. Uh, my biggest query peeve is actually when somebody misgenres their query and they try to come in as an adult uh, book that is masquerading as like a young adult or middle grade. And I'm not one of the great, fabulous uh, adult agents we have here. I'm one of the fabulous kidlet agents. Um, but like, it's very obvious <laughs> when that happens and it's an easy pass and I don't like to give easy passes. So um, if you don't see you there and all you're seeing is young adult, young adult, young adult, um, it means that I don't do adult books. So save yourself from a very easy rejection and just go find one of our fabulous adult agents 
They're very easy. You can go for Bookends website and hunt them down. They got a little adult birdie there. They're not the ones in the little egg. Um, I'm the one on the little egg. So, my biggest query pet peeve is when um, an author illustrator or an illustrator or a graphic novelist uh, doesn't include a link um, to either a Dropbox or something on. Uh, query manager so that I can easily see the dummy of the project. Um, a lot of times I'll see in the query that, you know, they can't attach it so I should email them so they can email it to me. Um, and the truth is that when you're working with a publisher, they're going to want you to know how to upload very large files to them. And so, you know, when you can send or include a link to your Dropbox or to your website where I can download the dummy, you know, that shows me that you're already kind of ready to work professionally. Um, and so, you know, that's, that's 